Hey. Hello. Hey, what's up? Amazing. Perfect time here in Computex, uh, launching our project, finally. Uh, trusted, a complete new ecosystem, solving the biggest problems right now. And the problems are basically misinformation and scams. And yeah, this problem got magnified a lot through uh, the current AI advancements which we have. Uh, since we know chat GPT can be convincingly wrong and basically any AI since yeah, it can be only trained right now with data from directly the internet and that's why we need a new system where we can find reliable information but not only that because we know the internet is kind of broken um, since yeah, try to find a service partner or a collaborator with whom you want to work together find the right product you want or a software you want to have where you can maybe want to do your own project and yeah all these things are pretty big problem and take a lot of time and we're solving that basically bringing people together with the right information with the right products and trustworthy information in seconds what does she do and this is basically athena uh, athena is our yeah future decentralized and artificial general intelligence she should be uh, so she will be fine-tuned with the She's data. She's not so smart right now? Uh, right now, no. She doesn't, she doesn't <laughs> exist. She only exists in that way. Uh, so basically, it will be an AI, but the AI will be trained and fine-tuned with the data from our system. And so the special thing about Trusted is that we are allowing it people and businesses to build a transparent Trusted score. It's basically like a track record, a credibility score, where people, you know, over the time right now in the internet, anyone can write everything and basically there is no real um, yeah, proof of what you're reading and so on. So it's very hard to find right information and basically you need to cross-reference information. And that makes it hard, whatever you want to do. And we do this by, for example, letting, creating a space where information, products and services directly get curated by the community. So basically that means you can, uh, i show that here, you can go to Trusted and then you can rate an article um, in the ratings and if you want give one star, you basically need to explain why, for example, yeah, why you're giving one uh, star because there was wrong information inside the article and basically these ratings can happen for products, for services, for everything and all these things combined together they are getting out as the trusted score and so the great part is here, the sign is uh, still a bit not perfect, we are just launching and fixing just the bugs. Anyway, what you see here is, uh, for example, here Christoph has a trust score of two in this case, 12 posts, and it's written a profile of trusted, and you directly see, hey, they have six posts, they have a software, and basically it could be uh, anything. If you go here, for example, to the homepage, you see we have uh, posts, software with over 1,200 AI tools listed in the future, uh, freelancers or service providers, they can add services, you can sell products, for example, like on Amazon people and companies can sell products, courses, jobs, and so on. And all these things are connected. And the great part is, since we have the trusted score, you can find trustworthy information, products, collaborators with whom you want to work together basically in seconds instead of months where people need to do research a lot and invest so much money basically to yeah find those people try it yourself go on google try to find uh, try to build a project and find someone who want you want to work together with and you will find out google is not the right place to go because mostly there are all the seo uh, blogs and and big companies multi-billion dollar companies in the top search results but we are all small people, right? We don't have multi-billions to invest in and get started with. And on LinkedIn, there is the problem. If you want to connect to people, you might think, yeah, let's go to LinkedIn. But on LinkedIn, everybody can just post whatever they want. And basically, let's say we're focusing in the beginning on AI. But now go to LinkedIn and see how many AI consultants and service provider there are. And they are all the best and they are in AI basically for 20 years. That's just like uh, a bit like over the edge, but uh, at the end, you know, everyone just can say that they are, 
but the problem is a business or someone who wants to get really in the topic and find out how they can use it for themselves to, for example, make a workflow or something better. It's really hard and they talk, need to talk with a lot of people and it's like a long and daunting process. Usually can take four businesses up to six months till you find the perfect partner. And that's what we can break down uh, basically with Trusted. And with the AI, uh, Athena, which we're going to have, basically you saw her as an avatar with she can you basically in the future say hey Athena I want to do a project let's say I want to do an AI tool for music which can do, do this and that and basically she will show you in one second uh, all relevant posts to it all software which you might need all service providers who could help you build the product if she can't do that for you um, she, she could show you products, for example, um, we've been at Mobile Work Congress, we saw a very cool uh, sensor, for example, which you can as a developer train yourself um, for any movements to create a variable, and you can train this, and you could, for example, she could show you that here in the same time, and you can connect all this, and again, you don't need to think about again anymore. Hey, is this really the right partner? And are, hey, is this a real business? You don't even have to talk to them because of the trusted score, which at the end shows you the track record over time. You know, hey, this is a reliable partner. And with Athena, she can basically, you can say, hey, my budget is this. So that's our vision, yeah. Uh, our budget is this. And then you say, hey, please, let's do it. She will add it into our own a project management tool which then will be integrated and basically start um, yeah, working on that. She could then also uh, talk as like an agent with uh, vendors and so on and make the project basically for you. And with that we want to enable that any person in the world can make his dream a reality basically without knowing how it works because we know in the past it was very hard and actually only a few people could do that, yeah, which were working hard, investing a lot of money. But with this, we can enable it for really every person to basically do and make their dreams a reality. And the question I was always asking myself is how, like we see with AI and a tremendous change in everything. Yeah? We saw here from Jason from NVIDIA at the talk, like generative AI, where all these things are going. Maybe we live in a simulation. <laughs> but the thing is, what happens if we can connect with really the, the, peep, the right people with the right products basically instantly? Where can we go? And I think the sky is the limit. Not even that, because there is no limit. Um, and I think trusted as a goal, it will uh, become the most private and frictionless alternative to the Google and Apple ecosystem, as we are also planning to launch in the future our own operating system based on open harmony, where uh, basically the problem where privacy starts uh, nowadays is directly this what I have in my hand, right? It's the phone. And it's based either on Android or iOS, and you're logging in with a Gmail or iCloud account. And that's where everything starts, right? Their privacy is kind of already lost. And we are integrating our own multi-channel, uh, multi-chain wallet where all your data will be basically only accessible by you. No third party can access the data except you allow them. Yeah? But if you have think of Google, they sit on hundreds of billions of dollars in cash in their bank. Yeah? And they make all the money with basically your data, right? And we are going to change the whole paradigm and basically create in the environment from trusted uh, a win-win-win situation for everyone, basically the platform, the user, and uh, if there is a seller, the seller. And uh, so that enables anyone basically in the future to, for example, make money just by selling the data, whatever data they want to sell, right? And I think, I hope through that, we're getting, coming into a fairer and better future, which is not shareholder uh, focused, because that's how right now decisions in, uh, from big companies like Apple and Google are made. And when you think of, for example, uh, Apple, yeah, they don't have put, for example, touchscreens in, in their, uh, their notebooks, although they could have 
for sure done for already for a long time. But the thing is, so why they didn't do that? Okay, now they can sell separately an iPad and so on and they make more money. So that's kind of a reason why they're actually, in my opinion, holding back innovation. And we want to democratize this and give at the end everyone the opportunity. Um, yeah, as I say, to do whatever they want. And I think with a system like Trusted is the only way out to get into a brighter future. And that means that everyone who is using Trusted is part of the ecosystem and is not only part, but he can have a voice, he has a vote, and which counts, and he can basically change with it the direction where the whole ecosystem and everything is going, right? It's not like, like with Google, you just need to take what you get. Everyone is be part of it, and that's basically we want to build the biggest community at the end for humanity as one and give back privacy and control to the people. And just and a just short uh, like remark, uh, I'm thinking like a, bro a browser extension where you should be able to go anywhere on the web or any, any app, any website, any LinkedIn, any whatever, any article yeah. and rate directly. Is yes. there a way to do that on a phone? Because the phone <coughs> is like a separate app. And I know on Android that sometimes you give permission to look on the other, I don't know if it works on I iPhone. And the other thing is personalized, you, you kind of need to have a personalized score, right? Because what I think is trust is maybe not always the same what you think. Correct. So are you going to do that? So basically how it works is the trusted score itself. So I think it has several parts in it from the question you had. Um, about the score. That's right, that's why the trusted score, you can read about an article there, it's explained uh, how it in general works, but it's pretty simple. For example, uh, if someone is just writing comments and so on, and he really doesn't have an experience in a topic, yeah, his review and vote may, maybe shouldn't have such a, an impact on the overall score, for example, of the outdoor, right? But if there is a person who has proven themselves as an expert in, for example, AI plus automotive, yeah, they have been publishing a lot of information around that, they got rating on that. So his vote, it's basically weighted, is worth more than just from, let's say, me, a random dude who is writing a, a review about an information where I basically have no idea. And at the end, what you also need to think of, what is the truth? Sometimes, we don't know what's truth, right? It's not all, the life is not only black and white, it's also sometimes gray. And basically we need to figure out stuff. And what trusted does is not like saying, hey, this is right or wrong, but at the end it gives you the power to choose for yourself also and shows in a transparent way both sides of basically, let's say, a discussion and leave also room at the end to explore. Because that's also in science, right? We don't know everything, how it's working. We need to figure it out. And one guy thinks it's like that, and the other thinks like it's that. And maybe it's somewhere in between. And that's why it's not really about, hey, this is right and wrong, of course, also. But it's about, in the future, also finding out, because there are so many things in the world which we don't know yet. And if we can find them out and figure them out, we will have a better life. But it's basically a way of uh, getting a better understanding how things really are. And not only that, it's really about how you can access this information. And, and, get, and getting to rate everything, like not only what's inside the app, right? Is there a way to do that? Or it has to be only the content that's already added to the app, you know what so, I mean? So, okay, there are two things. First of all, it's the trusted score is made that it's also open for then in the future, uh, based basically trusted applications where you could maybe even in games, you know, somehow build a reputation and so on. And it will get calculated within the trusted score. It's, it's as it's uh, it made out of different parts. And in that way, um, first of all, you have the opportunity to give it out in uh, uh, just democratize it more and bring it out in more applications and, you know, feed one user. And the other important thing to know is that the platform is invite only for those who want to, for example, uh, like writing an, an article, you can't do that as a normal user. For that, you need to have an invite code, okay? Or if you want to sell something, 
uh, sell a course, sell a product, sell a service, you need to have an invite code. And in the beginning, you get the invite code from us. Um, as we are you know, now launching the project, we are starting with it and we need to see how it goes. But in the future, you get the invite code also from the people who have already an invite code, but their trusted score again is connected. So that means uh, if you are now, um, for example, helping in the community, help, uh, help moderating, help curating, and so on, your trusted score will go up. And actually, we have an incentive for that because you will earn points for doing these moderations and you can exchange them, for example, uh, these points which you got for doing moderation or sending a bug report or whatsoever. You can exchange them for any product or good uh, basically within the ecosystem. And so now when, for example, you are sharing a lot of information, you're helping, your trusted score goes up, goes up. And so if I would have invited you, then my trusted score would also go up. But if you're a spammer, if you're a scammer and somehow try to harm basically uh, the ecosystem, then of course your trusted score, the trusted score will go lower. And me, as I would have invited you, it will also go down. And in that way, we want to build a trusted network of people, of services and products. And to come back to the question of um, like the Chrome extension and so on, yeah, what trusted really is, is basically an end-to-end -end solution, a uh, private solution which we're aiming for, which resembles basically kind of the new generation internet, yeah, because at the end, the goal is right now we are launching the Web2 test pilot on it. Uh, we, I'm working on it already for five years. And finally, I'm launching it. And um, so the goal is to become a fully decentralized autonomous organization, organization where really everyone uh, has a voice and can vote. And anyone who is part of it will benefit. And uh, so basically, Trusted will become kind of the internet or the gateway into Web3, as we are also transforming from Web2 right now very slowly into Web3. But why is it not working right now with Web3? Because first of all, user experience. And uh, second of all, well, try to do something in Web3. Yeah, you get scammed a lot. Believe me, I, I, I know what I'm talking because I tried to launch this project already uh, in Web3 space last year, but I failed and it was also cause I lost so much money alone on scams where, you know, I work together with people, they say they do something, but they're gone and everybody tries to want to be anonymous. But what we do is basically trusted its principles are based on education, on privacy, on transparency, on collaboration. And when you combine these all things together, you uh, get a complete new environment where um, it's really about accelerating and fostering growth. Yeah, it doesn't matter if personal growth or business growth, um, since it's all about education. And we also know education system is broken. Uh, and at the end, we all need to work together to get into a better and brighter future. And to be honest, I don't want to live in a future where, for example, you are going to um, have your voice assistant and like your AI and it has all your data. And anyway, the big tech companies, they have more, they know more about you than you do about yourself, right? And that's pretty bad. And I don't want to live in a future where we are so at once with technology that basically anything is possible. I want to have my data. Yeah, I want to own this and basically it's your human right and I don't want that anyone just can access it by making a request or so yeah um, we shouldn't live in a world and when it goes farther in that direction and there is no solution similar to trusted yeah? if trusted doesn't work because there's a better solution please launch it do it but right now I only see for the future for what's coming next the trust is the only way out to get in really a better future where we are all working together and helping each other to together grow. Because at the end, we are all one, we are all humans and nothing is perfect. But right now, how the system is working, how the internet is working, it's broken. And of course, it will be not perfect. And well, we in the future, 
at the end there will bo there will be basically no me anymore because at the end it's built from the first second uh, when I got up with the idea that there is no CEO that it's fully self-organized ecosystem where everybody who is in it can benefit and at the end can uh, make money and the only thing which you need to do is basically use the system and basically when you do that in the future you will make money by just you know playing like using the product and that's cause you own the data you have all the ownership so yeah short cool. short summary a i think some guys are waiting for you yeah short summary what's trusted basically it's a consolidation of different web services in the cleanest and most seamless interface and with a transparent trusted layer a curation layer from the community on top Cool, power it off. That was perfect. Hello, I'm Mr. Beast. No, I'm not Mr. Beast, actually. But if I was Mr. Beast and if I was sending you a bunch of money, I would use Wise. Wise is a really smart way to send money around the world. Tiny little fees. Check out my video, a seven minute video where I try to explain some more. It works in hundreds of countries. Every time you go to a different country, use your Wise card or use your Android Pay, your, your uh, Apple Pay to do all your payments with a tiny little conversion pay. Uh, fee. If you have some customers in different countries, they can send you money to local bank accounts in the US and Europe, all over the world. You can get local bank account details. They transfer tiny little fees. Don't use PayPal anymore. Don't use Western Union. And don't use your bank to send money because it's surprising, but you wouldn't know maybe, but they take fees that are gigantic, that are pretty big. Just use the wise. It's smart.